Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is to find the shear force in bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam having the length of L and a uniformly distributed load of W. First of all, I will draw the general shear force in bending moment diagram for this specific beam and then you can and then you can put any values in your uh, shear force in bending moment diagram. You can draw the shear force in bending moment for any type of load and for any type of length. So to start with the shear force in bending moment diagram, first of all, I should know that what are the reactions of the two supports. Let's consider that this is the reaction A, this is the support A, and this support is named as B. So this is a uniformly distributed load of W act on this beam through the length of through the length of this beam. So to find the support reaction, I know that I have to transfer this uniformly distributed load into a pointed load. So to transfer this load, I can write it the W into L. The whole length, the whole uniformly distributed load is being multiplied with this length of the beam so I can get my pointed load which is represented by P. This uniformly distributed load is now being transferred into the pointed load P. So P load is acting on this beam. We can get the P by multiplying this whole uniformly distributed load with the L length so I can get my concentrated load which is acting at the center of this beam. Now, so to to, to know about the reactions of this beam, one reaction will be provided here and one will be here. So Ra, so Ra will be equal to the W into L divided by 2. Because W is a whole load, but it's been divided into two parts because one reaction will provide the resistance at this point and the other will provide at this point. So WL by 2 will be transferred here and WL by 2 will be transferred here. While the total load is WL, All right? This is the way to find the support reaction. Now to find the shear force and bending moment, I have to draw the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment, and then I have to make another reference line for the shear force. This is the shear force value represented in kilonewton or maybe in Newton, it depends which unit you are using. Similarly, I will draw the moment diagram reference line for the moment diagram. And this is usually presented in kilonewton into meter, or newton meter or pound inches, it depends on which unit you are using. So now after the supporting reactions we find, now I am going to draw the shear force. So as we know that this support reactions will move up to WL by 2. So WL by 2, it will move up. So let's suppose this is my WL by 2. And then due to uniformly load, it will act, it will goes down, goes down, down, down. It will become zero at the midpoint. And then it will come again to the negative shear force value, which is again WL by 2. There's a negative shear force value, there's a positive shear force value. Now what is the length in which the shear force is become equal to zero? This length will be equal to L by 2. Because there is a uniformly distributed load it and the whole length of the beam, so it always makes zero up to the half length of the beam. Now to find this, this is the shear force value for the this simply supported beam. Now to find the bending moment diagram value, I have to know the area of the shear force diagram. This is a triangle, you can see the triangle, so I will find the area of this triangle and it is equal to the half base into height. Half base is L by 2 and height is W L by 2. So this is equal to the W L square by 8. So the value in which the shear force is 0, I will have the maximum at the moment. If the shear force value is 0, I, I will know that this is my maximum point value. Where the shear force is maximum, I know that the moment will be zero because also these are the hinge supported, so the moment will be zero at this point at this point. So now as I find the area of this triangle is WL square by eight, so my maximum moment will act at this point, which is the WL square by eight. Similarly, there is a positive moment. Similarly, if I found the area of this triangle, this is also equal to WL square by eight, 
so it will come down so it will make it zero this point so this is also passed in this case now this is the way how to find a shear force in bending moment diagram for the simply supported beam with the uniformly distributed load in this case now you can put the any value of w maybe it's uh, 2 kN per meter or 5 kN per meter and just your length may be a 10 meter or you know, 20 meter or 30 meter so just plugging this value into this equation w is 2 l is 10 dividing by 2 you can get the shear force value similarly you will get the shear force value here similarly this is w l square by 8 so just putting this value you will get the maximum moment in your beam which is always in the midpoint of your simply supported beam with the uh, uniformly distributed load hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily 7 engineering videos thank you for watching my video